Nice to have you with us. Big 
chill. His career took off when he was cast as the lead in the 1986 hit sci-fi horror film, The Fly. The success of that movie obviously in The Fly. I might guess I think so. The main thing for me is that it was a creative landmark, and on that material, gee, I had a juicy and growth-producing time of it. Uh, and then, yeah, it was uh, nice for me, wasn't it? By the early 90s, things got even nicer. Goldblum followed Jurassic Park, a still master, with another summer blockbuster in 1996, Independence Day. If we plan a virus to go into that mother ship, it's going to then filter down to all the corresponding ships below. Off screen, when Goldblum is not with his wife and two young boys, he is behind the piano. The actor has released a pair of albums and plays regular games with his jazz ensemble. I'm kind of making up this variation. And like acting, you're loving jazz and you're loving music. It's all the way back to your childhood, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Around for 10 or so. I forget. We had to report us kids. Our parents gave us lessons on that. To get the telephone, boy, the yellow pages, look at the cocktail on it. was around Pittsburgh, I was 15, and go and call up, call, call them, and say, uh, you know, I hear you're looking for a piano player. No, you've been misinformed. Me. There's no piano. Player. <laughs> well, yes, we have a piano. But who's this? Well, how old are you? Uh, well, come on down. Maybe sure. We'll play and see, see what you can do. I got a couple of jobs that way. My parents drove me. Music is a tonic, as you know. And uh, it's a uh, great thank you. Thank you to Charlotte once again and Harold for giving me gallons, all kinds of gifts from the parents. It's correct. Truly. Yeah, it's correct. What do you get from playing music, Jack, that you don't get from all the other interests in your life? I'm kind of non careerist, yeah. as I like to say, um, about acting. But I still, you know, I want to put my best foot forward, and it's still my. Well, you know, this I kind of uh, is just for fun. I really don't have to try too hard to just have fun without concern for just for its own sake. Sounds like it's a bit meditative for you as well. We can call it meditative. When I play music in the morning, uh, it changes my yes. You know, molecules. <laughs> Some wise people tell us the, the, the elements of the circumstance of right now are just perfect. You don't say, ah, I wish the weather were different. I wish. No, it is the way it is. And there's something, if I were talented enough, I would understand how that's just perfect. You don't get to pick what the wave's doing. You just have to figure out how to write it. Right? You said it much better than I did. I'm surprised. That's <laughs> It's just so much fun to be around. Jurassic World Dominion is in theaters now. Our thanks to Cafe Carlisle at the Carlisle Hotel in New York for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Jeff Goldblum. I assure you he is wildly entertaining throughout. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a new Sunday Sit Down in Los Angeles with actor turned business mogul Jessica Alba on being thrust into stardom as a teenager and taking on a new challenge with her popular all-natural brand, Honest. Jessica Alba, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get a quick check of your local Sunday weather. Good morning, I'm Storm Team 4 Meteorologist Ryan Miller. We've got clouds, showers, muggy conditions around right now. Changes, though, coming our way this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, high temperatures right around 86 degrees this afternoon. And the good weather from today will linger into your 4th of July. Look for temperatures tomorrow to be hot but not humid. Highs near 90 degrees with sunshine. Great weather for any outdoor activities, and that includes fireworks watching tomorrow night. Showers and storms return Tuesday. Uh, and on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including the school custodian who became a viral star after he stepped to the mic at an assembly for a simple mic check and blew the roof off the place like Steve Perry. But up next, our Sunday spotlight on the iconic composer behind many of the
the most famous scores in the history of Hollywood, including Jurassic Park. The music of John Williams, when we come back in just 30 seconds.